Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. I do have my candles behind me right here. I have a few empties and I am switching some things up just because we are about halfway through August and I want to start introducing a few semi fall candles not like full fall but like kind of i don't know how to properly categorize those but there are some candles that i'm going to put in that i'm basically going to be introducing fall so get excited for that um and i am using a uh, cinematic mode on my phone let me know if this like freaks you out i'm testing it out here and there um for videos lately i feel like this looks good though because it's like blurring out the messy couch behind me <laughs> so i think it looks good but just let me know what you think and um, I'll adjust with whatever you guys have as feedback. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the candles that I finished. So the first one that I finished is Tiki Beach. Now this one, I thoroughly enjoyed. It was so good. You can see my progress here. One month and then two months and I finished it. Um, it burned so well. You can see there's like barely any soot that, that happened to it. It was a wonderful candle. This was like the perfect midsummer candle it's warm vanilla musk orchids and toasted coconut like this was awesome so that was my first year using tiki beach and i would definitely pick it up again for next summer and then i also finished coconut cake this one was like i don't know it wasn't my favorite ever it was okay um this is a homeworks four wick it burned pretty well but it wasn't like the strongest throw and it didn't really smell like that great i don't know it was more like a caramel cake than it was a coconut cake, and it was like a 5 out of 10 on throw. It's toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, baked cake, and pecan. So those are the two that I finished up. And then we're going to go through some of my progress, and I'm actually going to take out a few of these candles because I just don't think that I'll finish them up in the summertime. Okay, this first one I'm definitely going to finish in the next week. Pink Petal Tea Cake. You guys know this one. Um, I do have some progress for you. So from here to here, not a ton of progress, but I like just remembered that I had it in my bedroom last week. So I've been burning a lot in the last week and it's definitely gonna be finished off very soon. I'm enjoying it a ton. Um, and I definitely plan on finishing this before the end of August. Next one is unicorn sprinkles. I figured out how to get the lid off. So I told you guys last time that I had actually vacuum sealed the lid on this one and I did get it off. So basically what I did was I just went and got my hammer and I used the back of it that you can use to take nails out of the wall and I just suctioned it. I got it right underneath the lid and it kind of just went into this, the silicone barrier around the lid. It got in there and then it just basically released the pressure. So it was super simple, way easier than I was making it out to be. So if you guys ever, str ever struggle with that, you don't have to poke a hole in the lid with like a, a drill or something crazy, just go get your hammer. It was so, so simple. I was making it way too complicated. So unicorn spring goals. I think I burned it once since I got the lid off, but I do actually have a ton of progress since the last time for you guys. So from here to here. So I did make a ton of progress before the lid got suctioned on there. And I plan on finishing this off before the summer as well, just because I'm more than halfway on it. So I think it's definitely doable. Now, one that I put in to replace that one is Sugared Lemonade and Blueberry Sugar. And this one I think I'm just gonna take out of the project. I got a few burns out of it. You can see from here to here, it smells great, but I could see this one being really awesome around like Easter time. Like this just smells like, not like peeps, but like candy. So I feel like it'd be really great in the spring. So I'm just gonna save it for next year since it is pretty much full. And this one's gonna get put out of the project. Next one we have, I have made a lot of progress on. It's Ginger Lime Twist. I'm all the way at the bottom on this one. I'm pretty much almost done, just like Pink uh, Petal Tea Cake. So this one, I went from all the way up here to down to here. I hope you can see that. All the way up here, down to here. Yeah, I, I have barely any left. I'm really enjoying this. Um, Ryan burned this one specifically while I was gone over the weekend and loved it. So this one was really great. I like having something random like this. I feel like Ginger Lime Twist is a little different than most of their scents that I use um, for candles. So this was like a nice change of pace. It was fresh, it was fruity, and it's gonna be finished off in the next week. Another one that I'm gonna retire from the project is Red, White, and Blue Cake. Um, I think the time has just passed 
This is really a good one for like July time, I think, June and July. And I made a t little bit of progress. I probably burned it like four or five times. So still did pretty good on this one. Um, it doesn't pull out very well. It takes a long time to pull out, but I burned this the last couple of days. I really like it. it. Smells great, but I think I will enjoy it if I keep it for next summer or like springtime too. I feel like this also would be a good one for like the spring going into summer. This next one actually is a little bit warm still because I was just burning it, but it's mahogany coconut. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this one, but I am gonna keep it in the project because I'm loving it right now. Um, this one smells so good. So this is mahogany coconut. She's beautiful. We went from here to here. I've already burned through, I think I already burned through one mahogany coconut this year. So I'm loving it, but I did move it while the wax was still wet. So kind of messed it up there a little bit, but it's fine. It's a great burner. This one smells awesome. I'm going to keep burning it. I might not get through it before the end of the summer, but I'm still enjoying it. Last one to update you guys on that I have no update on is buttery popcorn. I did not melt this at all or burn this at all since I last talked to you guys. It is still where it's at. I am going to keep it in the project though, because like I said before, it I feel like it's going to be a really good football game watching candle. So um, we are going to be spending a lot of time at home uh, September, we don't really have any plans. So I feel like we're gonna be spending a lot of time at home, enjoying our fall decor and maybe watching games. So I'll keep this one in the project just to keep for that purpose, but I have not been burning it at all. Oops. Okay, let's move on to the four that I'm putting in the project. You can see Kai snoot, me snoot. First, I'm putting in the Homeworks Three Wick in Blueberry Cheesecake. This one I'm very excited to start using. I picked this up, I believe in like the springtime and I just, I've never burned it. So the notes are Wild Maine Blueberry, Cheesecake Accord, Blackberry Jam and Brown Sugar Crust. This one I feel like is a year round scent, but that crust note is really, really yummy. And I feel like this is reminding me of Blueberry Pie from Bath and Body Works. That hasn't come out in a few years, but that was a really good one that I enjoyed um, in the early fall for the past couple of years. So I'm gonna be using this one, blueberry cheesecake. Really excited about it. Ryan loves blueberry scents too, so I think he'll love this. And it's not quite like full on pumpkin cause I'm not ready for pumpkin yet. It is still like 105 here every single day. So it sucks. Um, and I don't want pumpkin as much as I want myself to want pumpkin, I don't. It's 100, I don't want pumpkin. So we're gonna try starting with some more gourmands and dip our toes into fall, but that's blueberry cheesecake. I'm really excited to try it out. I haven't burned a three wick from Homeworks in a few years, so I'm excited to try this and uh, see how it goes. You guys know this one, right? Right, by the color of the wax. This is pumpkin peanut brittle in last year's packaging. It's so pretty, it's so cute. I'm so excited to burn this one. Um, I did burn it like once. I actually haven't marked this one yet, so I'll just go ahead and mark it with you. But I burned this one once. Uh, sometime during the summer, I got a really like hankering for fall candles and I burned this one and it's really good. It's just basically a peanut butter um, on a Ritz cracker kind of scent. It's crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts and toasted pumpkin seeds. It smells so good. And I can imagine this being a really nice like morning candle to burn while I'm like having my coffee and stuff. So that's this one, I'm excited. I'll probably leave this one in the kitchen because it smells like you're baking something. And I'm excited for that. I don't know yet the strength on this one from the packaging from um, 2022, because the one that I had from 2020, I believe was not very strong. So I'm curious to see how this one will do in my kitchen. But that is that one, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark blueberry cheesecake because I've not used that one either, and I've not marked it. I'm saving the best one for last right there. Okay, next we have Goose Creek's Cherry Cobbler. This is in their older packaging line from last year. I think I got this in like a clearance sale last year around like December. It might have even been like their after Christmas clearance sale. But yeah, Cherry Cobbler right here. I don't even think it has the notes on it, but it smells like cherry pie, <laughs> I would say. So I'm putting in two pie scents. Now I don't know how this one will burn um, and I don't know how it will smell because on cold sniff, it smells a little plasticky. So I'm curious to see how this one goes. Um, I know they've done a lot in regards to their formulation over the last year. Um, so I think this one was just like an older 
candle that I happen to get for a really good price. So I'm not expecting too much out of it. If anything, I will crock it probably for like a week or whatever and just be done with it. But I think it'll still be good for the use that I want, which is just bringing us into fall scents. And I need to use it and get my thoughts on it so I know if I want it or not. So yeah, that's Cherry Cobbler. Curious to see how this one goes. And now for the one I am most excited for, and that is Hocus Pocus 2's Halloween Night. This is from that Hocus Pocus line that they did last year. I believe they came out with like four candles or so. I'm so excited to melt this one. This one also does not have scent notes, but I believe it was a candy corn scent. So it's like vanilla, caramel, whipped cream candy is like what the scent is supposed to be. It smells really good. It just smells like a vanilla scent. It smells super simple. I'm thinking this won't be very strong, but I hope it will be. If it's not, then I could definitely just put it in a candle crock and I would probably put it like in my kitchen slash living room because I feel like this would be a great just general scent to have around, but it smells delicious. It smells like whipped cream. It smells so good. So I'm really excited about this one. Um, I probably will finish it off before Halloween, but last year I did the opposite and I waited to burn Halloween candles until October. So I didn't finish them. Either I didn't finish them at all or I didn't finish them until like January. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this Halloween candle now, just so I can like have it going and test it out and see what I think. Um, and that way I can kind of have my thoughts already ready for when the time comes when it is Halloween. Okay, so I've got nine candles in the rotation right now. Four are basically like still from summer and ones that I'm just planning on finishing before the summer ends. And then I introduced five, or I introduced four, this is the buttery popcorn, but five are basically like fall scents. So I'm excited to start doing fall. Um, last year, I feel like I waited a little too long um, to burn fall and I just didn't get to enjoy fall during fall <laughs> because I was already like by November moving on to Christmas scents. So I'm gonna go ahead and start some of them now. I feel like the ones that I picked out are like pie scents and stuff, which aren't too, um, fall centric yet. So I feel like I'm still going to be able to enjoy them while it's still hot outside. It's still going to be hot here till like October when it'll be 80 instead of hundred. So yeah, pray for us. But <laughs> anyways, I'm excited to burn these and I will keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to be a little bit better about posting, um, regular posts on YouTube, not just videos but like posting on the community tab. So I'll give you guys some updates when I start burning through those other candles that I've been talking about on the post community tab in YouTube. <laughs> it's so weird to think about, but yeah, I'm gonna try to be better about that. But also if you follow me on Instagram, I will try to post on my story as well. I just need to get better about posting like daily stuff there. I've been slacking so much on Instagram. I just haven't had motivation really. So I definitely need to get on my A game because posting during the fall is so much fun and I enjoy it a lot. So I need to just kind of ramp it up, get started. So anyways, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below, what are you burning right now for the month of like August going into September? Let me know if you've already moved on full force fall, if you're like in my game where you're like still half in summer, half in fall, or if you're still like, no, I'm, I'm not, done with summer yet. I want to keep going. <laughs> so let me know down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.